the Texas House debates bill giving the death penalty to women who have abortions. Uh, Texas Republican State Representative Tony Tinderholt is the primary author of a bill, HB 896, that would classify abortion as a homicide. In this bill, women who have abortions could theoretically be punished with the death penalty. In 2017, Tinderholt pushes a similar pushed a similar bill. This new bill received a public hearing in the state house's Senate committee um, on judiciary and civil jurisprudence uh, and is actually being considered. So wait, okay. Are you sure this is not because when I first saw this title, I was like, this is, this was probably an exaggeration. This is a clickbait something. Is this actually, is this title accurate? Absolutely. So uh, no if way. anyone wants to know the a short history of the past 10 years in Texas, we've also passed bills. We have passed bills that made it uh, to where if a woman had an abortion or a miscarriage, she had to have a funeral for... Uh, no, forget the, that. The this is more, This is way more crazier than that. They okay, were... no, 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 no. I'm just giving you a short little history, okay, okay, okay. Of, of the people who are in charge in Texas and, and what they do. So I thought this is clickbait as well, or at least I would have 10 years ago had all this other crazy bat shit insane stuff that had to do with abortions i uh, hadn't already passed so um this bill i actually remember a bill similar to this uh a long time ago that was brought up so that must be the one that they're talking about here um and and it unfortunately i think was repealed by the supreme court i don't know i know that the the baby funeral thing was also taken down by the supreme court um, in, in Texas right now, it's almost impossible for a woman to get an abortion as it sits. So they just keep pushing it. Every year in Texas, it seems to just get pushed more and more and more. And this isn't the first state that is actually trying to pass uh, this abortion homicide bill. No, but the death penalty, like, is this oh, like... absolutely. Okay, okay. So, but is this like a... Who's debating this? Is this actually a serious debate between the politicians or some loony is just proposing this and people like, I guess we have to talk about it because... Okay, so maybe... Like, I'm just trying to be as charitable to this crazy story as, as much as I possibly <laughs> can, okay? Because I can't believe that this is actually something serious, okay? And by the way, just to... Sobham is saying that I, he usually trusts the friendly atheist, which is the source that we're getting, and I agree with that. So, uh, looking at the source, that's a uh, that's a source that is usually is very uh, credible. So, um, I don't think that uh, uh, him at Meta uses clickbaity titles. But I maybe I was thinking that maybe because this can this is just too crazy that in the United States. Um, they're they're debating whether women should get death penalty for abortions. Okay, um, I mean even in Iran we don't have death penalty for abortions, right? So maybe I was trying to say the most charitable view is that maybe this is a technicality that everything that is proposed has to actually be discussed, right? And then some loonies come up with a proposal, and because of the technicality of how, the bureaucracy of how the you know how the system works there, then they have to just discuss it, even though it will never be taken seriously. Is that some technicality like that that is happening? No, this is actually being considered. This isn't a, this isn't a technicality. But this isn't you know he's not trying to shut up somebody else's bill and try to get you know crazy attention for this one. Uh, this is a bill that that he has been trying to for years get passed, um, and and now it's actually being considered. Okay, who is who is who are we talking about? Is it a um, like what are what are the people involved in this nonsense? So um, Tinder Holt is a lawmaker. Mm -hmm. uh, he's a Republican. Uh, he's a state Republican uh, lawmaker that is able to draft bills. I think. And I don't want to say this, but uh, Texas also had a similar law, and I think it was Tinder Holt then that tried to pass it too. Um, I remember his bald head, but uh, they, he tried to make divorce illegal in Texas. This guy, uh, he he writes a lot of crazy laws, but unfortunately, somehow gets a lot of people to stand behind him. Um, okay, so let's let's look at it a different way. First of all, this would be on this bill would never get passed. Can we agree on that? Because it's unconstitutional. No, the bill will get passed and then it'll get stopped in the Supreme Court. 
Okay, so Texas has a history of doing this. So how about this? How about this? Um, maybe so this guy maybe he thinks that okay, obviously this will never become law uh, because it's unconstitutional. Agreed? Like this is unconstitutional, right? So this will never become law in the United States, even no matter how much they discuss it. Agreed? Un unless there's a civil war or something, <laughs> right, right? So I don't think that something like this will ever become law in any state ever in the United States, unless something out of you know like Hammy's Tale kind of situation, civil I mean, war. Did you hear about Ohio just passing the law that you can't get an abortion after a baby has a heartbeat? That's six weeks. Women yeah, that's horrible, up. Ali. But this is the death. They're, they're, they're suggesting the death penalty. This is a whole There's other level. There's already law in several states. Women, women are already being sent to jail over abortions. This is happening. So what? What is it? You're taking it a step further by calling it murder and saying she gets the death penalty now. We have let this go on, and we've let this go on. One step, one step, one step. Just baby stepping our way into the point where now our lawmakers think this is acceptable and this can happen. This is scary. Yeah, I know it's scary. I'm scared. Okay, I'm not saying it's not scary. I'm just saying that there's uh, the United States. Thankfully, there's this thing called the Constitution, and it's going to stop them. Um, door Doorknob is saying Armin is so cute, pretending that the evangelists think laws apply to them. I don't think the evangelists do think the laws laws apply to them. But evangelists, even though they're delusional, they live in reality, and in the real world, there's laws that is going to stop them, whether they think it's going to apply to them or not. You have the Constitution in the United States. They're okay, not going to be able to pass this ever. Stacy just said something amazing. Okay, she's on a roll tonight. Stacy Thompson says passing this bill will force a bunch of appeals to the Supreme Court to try to overturn Roe, and she is spot on. This is That's, exactly okay. That's what I think is happening. Okay. Okay. I think okay. there's a different. There's a different agenda behind this. I yeah. don't think that the these people. I'm not saying they don't want the death penalty. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of loonies, evangelical loonies, that would love the death penalty for women that do abortion, right? But I think they're also the reason why Christianity is becoming more and more political in the United States is not because these people are just loons. These people are being very strategic, and their their influence is growing. They're they. This is again just because somebody is evil. You, if you just dismiss them all as crazies, you're gonna lose because they oh, are. Yeah, yeah, you're right. They are very strategic about what they do. Okay, so these people must know that this is gonna get challenged. So I think like what Stacy is suggesting is the the planning. Like for example, a lot of people make fun of evangel like Christians in the United States for voting for Trump. Because they're like, oh, these idiots are voting for somebody that is not even, like, is there's nothing Christian about him, right? And people kept on laughing at them. And now Trump is putting so many people in the Supreme Court that they, these Christians love. Uh, guess, look, look, they're winning. They, they, they're getting exactly what they wanted. While you guys think they were being idiots. They are, they, they, these people are smart um, about their political strategies. And th there, there's a lot more usually to what they're thinking behind what they do even though what they're doing is is absolutely horrible don't just dismiss it as completely random nonsense there is something there's some strategy behind what they're doing so what Stacy is just another thing that this guy is probably doing is that he might know that okay this might get pat might get passed and it will get challenged in supreme in the Supreme Court and the, the bill will get dismissed. But guess what? During this entire time, guess who's going to get a lot of news coverage to all the Christians about with my name? It's going to be me, right? Like I'm going to fight, be fighting this battle that will lose eventually. But I will be come out of I will come out of the story as a hero to the Christians and to the Christian cause, and my name will constantly be mentioned in the news. As to the Christians as somebody that is fighting for Christian values and I'm going to come out of this the law is going to come out of this as a loser but I'm going to come out of this as a winner I think these are the kind of things that they think when they pass, pass laws like this yeah um, do you agree with that? 
I, I do. Uh, it's just this guy in particular, I just, I feel like you have to be really smart in order to plan. Like, like you oh, said. you think this guy's an idiot? <laughs> this guy's an idiot. But I do want to quote him at Meta because this was just uh, funny and it's just a, a silly attack on this guy. Tinder Holt, by the way, is currently on his fifth marriage to a fourth woman. Jesus is okay with that, apparently. And it's just, again, it's pointing out the hypocrisy of some of these people. He wants to hold women responsible uh, for their bodies and, and what happens to them as a consequence from having sex with men. Um, but this guy can get married to as many women as he wants, as often as he wants, and that's fine. Um, where is this? Um, the hypocrisy is it? Mike is saying it's, un it's unconstitutional. That's why they want the majority in the high court. Uh, yeah, but the majority in the high court can't change the constitution. Subham is saying, I get that this is the death penalty, but Trump's no trans people in military law has passed, so probably it, has, it can happen in the U.S. Yeah, but it was challenged as unconstitutional. Like, yeah, it could get passed, but it can't just stay there. It will get challenged as unconstitutional. Subham is saying there will be many people who would love the death penalty. I hope most people are sensible enough to oppose this. Uh, by the way, I just want to also point out that this... If Christianity is true, this makes sense, right? So again, blame Christianity, not just these people, right? I mean, abortion is murder if Christianity is true, right? So don't just blame these people, blame the entire religion, please. Uh, Joshua is saying, so profile your... So pro-life, you're willing to murder people for... It. So pro-life, you're willing to murder people for it. Uh, Jeremy is saying, I prefer we stop allowing Christians to force their version of Sharia on us. Thanks. Uh, Andrew is saying, so Sharia law, but the Christian version. I mean, I don't think this is even, I think this is beyond Sharia, to be honest. I mean, wait, in, yeah, I mean, in, what happens in Saudi Arabia if you, if you, do, uh, if you have an abortion? I don't think you get. I don't think you get the death penalty. Can somebody look that up? I think this is beyond Sharia. Um, I don't know. Somebody look that up. Oh, Yuval is saying they're, these guys, uh, an, an abortion, these guys have a strategic advisors that tell them to pull such media stunts. I wouldn't be surprised if he did this for publicity. Yeah, exactly. So Ali, even if he's not, if he's crazy, I'm pretty sure they hire some people that His know. advisors aren't. Yeah. He's lucky he's got some great advisors. Yeah. Oh, by the way, just before you mention this, Subhan looked it up. Um, Subhan is saying the violator may be required to, play, to pay blood money to the onboard child's family. Okay, so in Saudi Arabia, you, you, there's a fine for abortion, but uh, but you don't get the death penalty, okay? So this guy is actually suggesting something uh, that is beyond Saudi Arabia's laws. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.